Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing. What I've got here today is the TCL 10 Pro. If you haven't yet watched it, look at my unboxing of the TCL 10L, which is kind of like the cheaper version of this phone. This is a premium mid-range phone, whereas the TCL 10L is a cheaper mid-range phone. So the difference in price is this is a $450 phone, whereas the TCL 10L is a $250 phone, but they're very similar in many ways. This has upgraded design and materials, but also some upgraded specs as well. So let's check it out. This is what it looks like. A nice glass and aluminum sandwich, TCL 10 Pro. Tells you here what to expect. You got a 6.47 Full HD 1080p display, which is AMOLED and has a curved edge versus, you know, a flat panel that's a ips on the 10l you got hdr 10 support 64 megapixel main camera versus 48 on the 10l 120 gigs of storage 6 gigs of ram and a 4500 milliamp hour battery versus 4000 on the 10l it says display greatness which seems to be tcl's logo don't have too much here on the back and then uh yeah that's basically it so let's check it out shall we Dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun. It's a little stuck in there. And that's it for the inside. Now we have the phone. So that's nice. Let's see. Here we go. TCL 10 Pro. And we have a divider. And something in here. Let's have a look at this. Let's open it up. There we go. Aha, there's a case, very much like the 10L, and some documentation. SIM removal tool, of course. So it says TCL 10 Pro Safety and Precautions and Quick Start Guide, of course, Spanish on the back. I showed you this on the 10L, but let me show you to you again because it's actually pretty nicely done. Here are all the details, shows you screenshots. Yeah, basically. That's what you expect. And like the 10L, it comes with this cool case that says display greatness. And this is like a nice TPU case, not the kind that gets yellow over time. I like how a lot of Chinese phones come with these decent quality protective TPU translucent case. Still give you the chance to enjoy the design of the phone by looking at it. So we have a bunch of stuff in here so there is a charging cord this is USB C on one end of course and USB A on the other end not too surprising there and we've got a charger here as well let's have a look at that ta-da now I bet you this is the same 10 watt charger we saw on the 10L and that's how you charge a phone and that's basically the content of the box so let's have a look at the phone shall we so let's slide it out of its package dun, 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 dun. there it is Ooh, this is the gray one so so far I've only seen this as an emerald color so this is kind of cool silver at the bottom and kind of regarding grayer blacker I guess as we go up and uh, the one I've seen so far and did a hands-on you should check the hands-on up here was a greenish one so it was like lighter green to kind of a dark emerald at the top so you can see the camera system here unlike the 10L it is flush and this is glass and aluminum frame and a curved front glass as you can see the edges are slightly curved here but let's turn it on because I want to show you the display it's a beautiful display TCL, as you know, makes televisions and they make their own displays. And even the 10L at $250 has an IPS panel that's their own display. This has an OLED panel that's their own display. So that's actually pretty exciting. So it's a 6.47 inch 1080p display with a teardrop notch up here, as you can see. Inside is a 24 megapixel front facing camera with an f over 2.0 aperture, 0.9 micron pixels. Yeah, and there's a little earpiece here. I'm not sure if you can see it. There we go. There we are. So now, as you can see, there's not too much of a chin, a little bit, but not too bad. 
This is a really good contrast ratio, good looking OLED display as you'd expect. It's pretty bright in the room right now, so what you're seeing here is bright enough to handle this. Uh, in the back here, as you can see, because it's a um, satin finish on the glass, it actually doesn't pick up fingerprints. What you're seeing here is just condensation from my fingers. It's got a TCL brand and here are the cameras. So let's talk about these cameras. There's four of them. One is a 64 megapixel. I bet you it's that big one here. That's the main camera. That's f over 1.79 and it has 0.8 micron pixels. So it's probably quad bins, four pixels into one to get a 16 megapixel photo and to get 1.6 micron pixels. Very clever. And that, you know, at the mid range, that's nice to see. Then there is a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera that has an F over 2.4 and one micron pixels. Then we have a five megapixel depth sensor that has an F over 2.2 and 1.12 micron sensors. Probably that one, because that's the ultra wide here. And this here is the last lens. It's a two megapixel micro camera. It has an f-stop of F over 1.8. And get this, 2.9 microns. That's pretty massive. So it should be pretty good in low light for macro. I'm not sure if it has autofocus. The 10L does not have autofocus on the macro, which makes it a little hard to take photos close up because you're sometimes too close, sometimes too far. You can see also there's two flashes and a laser autofocus system down here. So what's inside? Well, there's a bit of an improvement over the 10L. So this is a Snapdragon 675 instead of the 665. And of course, six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage has micro SD. The 10L only has 64 gigabytes of storage as a base, but also goes up to 128 as an option. So that gives you an idea of other differences. Now, in addition to processor and RAM, there's a slight difference in battery size. So this is a thinner phone because it's made of glass and aluminum, not plastic. And as such, even though it's a little thinner, it does have a 4,500 milliamp hour battery instead of 4,000 on the 10L. And I think a lot of the thickness loss, basically why it's thinner, is because it has this OLED display which doesn't need a backlight, etc. So this is definitely more premium. And as you can see, I was gonna give you the walk around, but there's a headphone jack here and some sort of infrared transmitter maybe here, as well as a secondary mic on top. On the left-hand side, you have a programmable button that can be used for Google Assistant, the camera, whatever you want. On the bottom, you have a USB Type-C port, SIM slot with micro SD card slot, and a mono speaker. There's no stereo audio on this, just like the 10L. And then on the right-hand side, you get the power lock key here and the volume rocker, as you can see. And that's basically it for the tour of the phone and for all the specs and all the details. Now, you're going to notice that unlike the 10L, there's no fingerprint reader on the back. Well, that's because it's an under display fingerprint reader. So you really are getting kind of a more premium version of the 10L with upgraded specs by spending an extra $200, which is to be expected. And as you can see, the waterfall display on this isn't too pronounced. So it's actually going to be pretty manageable. I think we're not going to get too many false positives on touching the screen and stuff. And I like how the the top is flat, slightly concave almost even. Same with the bottom. So very cool looking design. I wish I had gotten the emerald. Uh, light gray to gray is okay, but it's not nearly as exciting as that beautiful emerald color. Anyway, that's it, folks. This is the TCL 10 Pro. This is available in the U.S. officially. The 10L supports Verizon as well in the U.S., so I assume the 10 Pro will support Verizon as well. So this is a really for U.S. market. It has all the bands and, and the warranty and you'll be able to buy it from TCL and uh, yeah so this is actually pretty exciting this is not like some gray market phone that you're gonna have to struggle with in terms of support so stay tuned I'll have more videos soon and uh, until then you know uh, please like the video subscribe tell your friends click the little notification bell comment below of course and remember that all the stuff i do here on this channel is a compliment to my podcast mobiletechpodcast.com is where it's at you should subscribe to the podcast you know tell your friends about the podcast and we're on google Podcasts, apple Podcasts, spotify pocket cast pretty much everywhere so please add me to your podcast list subscribe to the show subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon with another video Cheers, everybody.